Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Efforts to maximize participation in the 2020 U.S. Census are being made by St. Mary's, Charles, and Calvert Counties through coordinated efforts. Representative Steny Hoyer, Democrat Maryland 5th, received a briefing Monday afternoon at the Charlotte Hall Library from 2020 Census, Complete Count Committees, and Census officials operating in Southern Maryland. Since the formation in May, the committee has come up with ways to bring awareness of the importance of the U.S. Census to members of historically low response groups, such as low-income families, children under five, and undocumented immigrants. Suda K. Haley, chair of the Calvert County Census 2020 Complete Count Committee, said Calvert's main goal is to educate the public, motivate individuals to respond timely, and implement local publicity outreach efforts. A road extension in Lexington Park has been given an additional year for construction. The project is identified in the Lexington Park Master Plan as a crime reduction measure and meets the national objective of benefiting low and moderate income households in the area. $300,000 was donated to the project by the Maryland Department of Community Development, a nonprofit agency that leverages government funds for, to build infrastructure. The project will extend Rogers Drive to Willows Road. St. Mary's NAACP President B.J. Hall aims higher with his goals this coming year as he reflected on his first year as president of the local chapter. Hall said his mission is to connect the, to the community, grow the local number 7025 branch, and address the problems that need fixing. In 2016, Hall, a Birmingham native, became more active in the St. Mary's NAACP, noticed the group needed to promote its accomplishments. Especially when I saw the work they were doing versus the work people said they weren't doing. Hall has put advertising to the good NAACP does locally as top concern. Hall has also put connecting to other local chapters as a top concern for 2020. A 2016 Great Mills graduate was at a watch party last month when the ESPN2 announced her as NROTC Student of the Year. Jennifer Felier Brown has this to say about her amazing accomplishment. It's really an honor to receive an award like that. There are 72 universities that have the Navy NROTC at the college level, and out of all of those, she was selected Student of the Year. The award she got was a $6,500 scholarship to go towards her studies at the University of Florida. Wednesday's night's game at Great Mills High School marked the start of the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division play for the hosting Hornets and Northern Patriots. After racing ahead 18-2 after the first quarter, the Hornets were able to double up the visitors and earn a 66-33 victory. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. Signing off.